It's a disruptive industry. We're the first ones to take the entire process to raise salmon on land in a tank from egg to harvest. So we started in the hatchery, which is where we bring in the eggs. So the pinkish orange that you see is the yolk sac, actually. It's not the fish himself. So when the fish hatches, it, the yolk sac is attached to the fish itself. And the first five to six weeks, the fish is going to feed off that orangish yolk sac. After the fish is done hatching and feeding from the yolk sac, we transfer them and bring the trays and transfer them manually into our start feeding department. This is where the fingerlings are going to start at the bottom of the tank and slowly are going to move up to the surface to start feeding themselves naturally. And as you can see on the transfer process, we do not handle the fish anymore through the life cycle. The fish is pumped through a slow current through pipes on the ground, go to the grater and then are dropped directly into the, the next tanks where they'll spend the next seven weeks. This process of moving the fish happens seven times in the freshwater stage and then another two or three times in the saltwater stage. When the fish smoltifies, it pretty much gets ready for the saltwater life. The fish is going to go through internal changes. It's going to prepare its organ to breathe in salt water. And it's also going to go from brownish green to silver. Once the fish is ready, we give them the first winter, we drop the temperature and the lights, and once they're done with multiplication, they will actually go from swimming against the current and they will turn around in the tank to swim with the current. By doing so, they tell us we're ready to leave the river, swim downstream all the way to the ocean. The last fish transfer takes the fish to our harvesting plants. The harvest is done in a very humane way and the last fish transfer instead of finishing into a new tank for more room, finishes through our uh, harvesting plant. The fish is then bled, cleaned, gutted, we remove the viscera, and chilled, ultra chilled, uh, for processing quality and shelf life. So I think that here it's about trying to drive the industry forward and try to be as sustainable as we can, because feeding the world is going to take more than one single solution.